Okay, I recently put up a poll in my community tab and I asked, gig bag, hard shell case, or box? Got some good feedback. Surprisingly, box got a pretty good response. Gig bag was number two and hard shell case was number one. I expected that, so and it could be a hot topic and more so now as more brands don't give you anything or they give you a gig bag when they used to give you a hard shell case or they make you give them one of your cases. I don't even know what that means. That's how confused I am about the whole thing. Let's talk about cases. Just in case, now actually I think it's really simple. Cases cost money, so to save money, you may not get one anymore as a perk. I think it's that simple. If I'm way off and you know some inside secrets, let me know. But let's just forget about all that for a moment. Yeah. Okay, now remember it all again and let's continue talking about it. Just wanted to take a break. I agree with anyone for being upset when they spend over like a thousand dollars and they don't get anything. I get it. So you didn't get anything with your guitar. Let me help you pick one because you're not gonna get one for free anymore, maybe sometimes. So let me help you pick one. We call them Sonic Accident Containment Kit, or as it's known in the industry, SAC. What industry? I don't know, completely made up. Everybody has their own personal situation and the requirements for protecting and moving and storing their guitars. I know what my situation is. I don't know what your situation is. So I'll go through what I have, why I have it, and my thoughts. And it really starts with what type of guitar. Okay, here's all my stuff piled up. I got piles of stuff piled up. Just so you can see some examples quickly here. And then I'll go, go into detail about each one. This one's really cool. This was from a, this is a vintage case. 70s Strat case. Really cool. We'll look at it closer. All right. Let's uh, start with, uh, like, say you got a solid body guitar. Like Strat, Tele. Sometimes you get these gig bags. And they're just basically a soft shell case. Pretty junky. Right? We're talking, essentially, it's a dust cover. No protection other than it'll keep your finish protected. But, like, look at this. It's just super limp and just nothing. Uh, next level up, this is a, a Fender. By the way, that was a Fender dust cover. I'm going to call it dust cover. They say gig bag, but this is their deluxe bag. And it's got this material that I don't really like because it snags on, like, strings and eventually it rips. So, this is definitely a little bit better. Uh, this is another level up. This is one of my favorite gig bags. GNL sells these, and it's got the uh, Velcro strap for the neck. And you can see in the bottom here, it's got a lot of padding, right? Which is good. You want that. It's got this thick foam and uh, strong materials. The zippers are good. The materials are good. And this is my favorite gig bag that I use to travel with, even for my Fender stuff, because it fits so much stuff in here. Check out this organization. You can put your pens and your calculators and all your stuff like that for school. No, wrong, wrong thing. But um, yeah, well built. It's got thick foam. Not as nice as that GNL bag, but it's pretty close. And I really like this one. It's compact and uh, you know. Okay, the next one I actually bought for a Jazzmaster, but I couldn't find a hard shell case, so I found this a few years ago. But it's for a bass guitar. So this is my Squire Vintage Modified 70s Jazz Bass. And this one's really cool. I think it's just like a generic brand, right? Let's move on to the hard shell sack. This was the first hard shell case I ever bought. I bought a Mexican standard Telecaster years ago and I got this case. See here, it's case made in Canada. I'm pretty sure this is a Yorkville case. It's held up. I gigged with it for years. It's uh, bit, some of the materials are coming loose, but otherwise it's solid. And I like the compartment it has there. And this is the one I stick all my stickers on. And the latches still work. Um, it was probably 60 bucks at the time. Definitely recommend these cases for your strats and your tellies and guitars and things like that it's got these uh you know i guess you're gonna put guitars and this is what you get with like uh, you get it with a pro 2 telly or a pro 2 strat i think you get it with the ultras and it's got a lock system travel sentry this is their elite molded case and it's very nice as well it's got a huge compartment in the middle nice materials these ones are made in china and uh it's like i think these are flight cases i think they're rated for that don't quote me on that because i don't fly with my guitars I need both arms. I can't hold the, the case at the same time. Okay, latches are really good. Um, I haven't gigged with one of these, so I can't say how they are long term in terms of getting bumped around and you know dropped and kicked and drop kicked. And here's my vintage 70s case, all original. This is what I got my 79 Strat with, and it's got the, the latches there. I'm gonna open it up and take a look inside. This one doesn't have the flappy-do lid thing, so your stuff's kind of just loose, 
flipping around, flopping around. There's uh, some stuff. And yeah, lots of space though. And you can see it's made for a uh, Strat or a Tele, and uh, really nice. And just let's close that up. Get that closed up. It's held up, but the original owner really took good care of it. So it's nice to see. This one's a G and G case. So this I got with my George Harrison Telecaster. Those things, man. Those if you don't watch your fingers, they'll rip your fingers off. Yeah, beautiful inside. It's got this little latch that pops up. So this one does have the flappy do thing. I don't think that's the official name. They probably don't want to use that name, but lots of space. Really nice and shiny and orange and uh, well made. I don't know if this would hold up well. I mean, I I know it'd be okay, but I, I probably wouldn't gig with this kind of case. Now this one, this one's been through a lot. Look at that. That's a sticker from microwave. I don't even know how that happened. So this got four latches. This is for an acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitar, semi-acoustic guitar. I'm getting a hard shell case, no question about it. That's what I would do. And that's what I've always done. And this one's also made in Canada. I believe it's a Yorkville case. I got this case because it was the only case that they had when I bought this guitar and I was traveling on a bus. Lots of space, you can put a lot of cool things in there. Put all your stuff in it. And you can see this one's uh, taking some, you know, some hits and some beatings and it's, I gigged with it for years and everything's intact. So I recommend these cases, they hold up really well. And it's got those metal things on the bottom to keep it off the ground, I guess. But you can see it's got some little scuffs and some, some tears. That was a transition, that's not the same case. That was magic, that was editing magic. This is another case, also a Yorkville case. Now I'm realizing later that almost all my cases are Yorkville cases. And this is from my ES335 and from my casino. They both fit perfectly and it's got that spot there. Really nice cases. Yeah, solid value, because they're not super expensive. You're not paying for like the name brand. What well, is a name brand, but. Okay, you didn't think I'd leave this out, right? Box. It was on the survey, or the poll, right? So this is your guitar box, your standard guitar box, and that's what they look like. It's made of uh, cardboard, and sometimes uh, you get them like this when they're shipped. So that's why I don't recommend shipping single boxes, because somebody decided to kick the side of that one. I think it was okay. And then sometimes they're double boxed properly. This was my my 79 Strat. It was double boxed, traveled all the way from California, all the way to Ottawa, Canada, and it was very happy. This is uh, surprisingly a Squire guitar. Look at the packaging, it's amazing. You could actually gig with that. No, don't do that. Sometimes boxes have like a triangle shape, like this one. And sometimes boxes make you really happy and fake for a thumbnail. And this is inside, uh, I think it was a player telly or Strat and uh, they've added some stuff to it. So, why do you need a case? Get off my case. Let me know your case. So for what I'm currently doing, I don't really know what I'm doing, but let's just pretend I do. Uh, I'm basically a home player making YouTube videos. I used to gig, I don't anymore. Sometimes occasional travel with one guitar and I'm fine with a gig bag, but that's about it and that's me. What about you? Let me know your situation. And, and the road end twice, and uh, what you do, and, 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 and in an ideal world, when should you get a gig bag or case with a guitar that you buy? Like at what price level? What, what is fair? Come on, let me know. All right, hope this was helpful. As always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.